day one, I can definitely see how it starts to become a little bit of a challenge over time. I have a couple dates coming up where I am trying to figure out how I'm gonna get two 45 minute workouts in. So far, the hardest thing for me is getting a gallon of water in. That seems like a lot of water. The key for me is to add a little bit of flavor to my water, so I do a lot of like hydration, and I do my wild orange arm rub, colostrum in my water uh, a good part of the day. It feels really good to be disciplined about something, and that is my, my biggest goal with this, is to just maintain some pretty big changes. day four. To be honest, I am really sore. I'm really tired. I'm having a hard time with daylight savings. I am somebody who gets up normally between five and six and I didn't wake up until 7.15 this morning. I'm tired and my body hurts. So today for my first workout, I am going to do a 45 minute yoga workout flow, not workout, but flow. Something that I'm doing with this, I'm gonna sit down. Oh, whoa, uh, buddy. Hi. So one of the things that I've decided before starting this that I was going to do is <laughs> you think they want your big mug in their face? Um, I'm allowing yoga as a form of workout because my body is just still healing. I have a lot of like I can't work out work out every single day for 75 days, but I decided this prior to starting this. So I had parameters that I was going to um, stay within. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll go on our first outdoor 45 minute, um, but we're gonna break it up today and do 20 minute because I have a meeting I have to be at at noon. And then when I get home this afternoon, we'll go on a 25 minute WA. Even though I'm pretty sure he knows how to spell. <laughs> At least that word. Okay, I gotta do my yoga. I gotta do my yoga. You gotta beat it. Put it on the couch. Go. As you sit those hips down, think of lengthening out of your lower back. So even finding a nice stretch along the side of the waist, reaching out long through your arms and then folding down. Today's been a harder day. I had aminotherapy yesterday and I just feel so tired. I haven't had aminotherapy since Mar or February 8th, I think. So it's been, what, five weeks almost? <clears throat> Which is what happened the last time too um, because I was having some insurance issues. I had to go five weeks. And I find that when I'm not consistently doing it, these longer gaps makes it really really hard on me because my body it's like almost I have to like get used to it over again so I did my yoga this morning and then I took Baker on a 25 minute walk and then I had to run up and get more paint today so and then I had to have them color match it so it was going to be about 25 minutes so I ended up going on a 25 minute walk outside again and it Actually, it was like one of those moments I was on the walk and I just thought this was intentional because I have been super stressed out all day about some things. And like I just, I never get to just go on walks by myself. I love you so much, buddy. I love walking with you. But I also really just miss going on walks by myself. I put on a financial wealth podcast, which is one of the things I'm doing every single day is some kind of financial wealth education. I'm finding that I really, 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 really love learning about this. And it's so interesting how the things that often we are most scared of turn out to be the things that we realize we have so much interest in. I think that this is my Virgo side because it just, the, the overall picture is very overwhelming. And I think that's why I keep on putting it off. But when I'm just slowly starting to build upon my last 
action and I'm realizing it's really, really exciting. I just ate. I'm just drinking my water. So I did get this new, it's not a Stanley, it's a Yeti. It's 32 ounces. So if I drink about three and a half of these a day or three of these a day, or four of these a day, excuse me, then that equals a gallon of water. So I'm on number two still. <laughs> so I'm not doing too well. Um, no, I think I'm on number three. Maybe I'll just say it's number three. This is probably the hardest aspect of this challenge is getting in enough water. Because so far I realized that I am not drinking enough during the day and then in the evening I'm having to drink a bunch and then I'm getting up about five times a night to go to the bathroom. I'm also having a hot flash right now. As I was saying, I need to be a little bit more aware of my water intake. But so far, overall, my interest in this is, is pretty high still. I have a tendency to, ooh, I need to take this off. I have a tendency, you can see how red I am. Um, I have a tendency to lose interest in things really fast. So that was my biggest hesitation about starting this challenge was that after about a week or five to seven days, I would I would just lose interest. Sorry, I keep burping. I don't know, but something just like clicked within me uh, recently where I just realized that I'm the only one that can make the changes that I wanna make in my life and it's gonna take a lot of discipline. Why am I doing this challenge? So let's talk about that. It's so funny because every time I sit down to do these videos, I am like, I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna put on makeup, and and I'm gonna feel like, I'm gonna present myself. And here I am, I did take a shower earlier today, but I didn't put any makeup on, I have a beanie on, and an old t-shirt. But this is, this is me. So I started hearing more and more stuff about this 75 hard challenge. I follow a gal on Instagram who's doing it. And then I saw a couple other places. Sorry, I'm still sweating. Ugh. Um, I saw it a couple other places and I felt like it was one of those things where like the universe was just putting it in my awareness. I looked into it and initially I was like, hell no, I'm not doing that. That is so hard. It just, I'm very triggered by anything that feels like I am what I'm looking for depriving myself so the 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 rules of the pro the challenge are you have to do two 45 minute workouts a day one is outside we live in we I'm, I'm referring to Baker and I and Louie I live in Seattle and it's spring so it is hit and miss every single day except for this weekend we're going into a really good nice warm patch so I'm super excited about that so those two work workouts, one has to be outdoors, both 45 minutes. I was like, at first I was gonna be like, okay, I can do two 30 minutes. And then I was like, no, do the 45 because you can do it. I think I'll be so proud of myself at the end of this. And after the last year of having to give up so much control over my body and my body's ability, I really want to show myself that I am strong again. You drink a gallon of water a day, which I is posing to be a challenge for me but ultimately I, I don't drink enough water I like to say that I'm a camel like I just function whether I really do function well but I mean when I used to do triathlons and, and half marathons and all of that I rarely drink any water during my races so I function pretty good on less at least I think so so but I was like I probably am not functioning well and so let's just do this. So a gallon of water a day, you're supposed to adhere to a, a diet. So you just pick a diet and adhere to it. And I, this is the one area where I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do one particular diet, but I will go 100% off gluten. Um, I sh I'm supposed to be gluten free, but I often just kind of like pick and choose when I do that. So no gluten and no refined sugar. Originally I was gonna do no dairy as well, but there are some things that I just felt like it was a little too restrictive. And so I, not that I eat a lot of dairy as it is, 
but one of the, the higher protein things that I like to eat is occasionally I like to eat low-fat cottage cheese. There was something else that I sometimes eat. Anyways, so I just, I, I cross that one out. So then it is reading 10 pages of a nonfiction book a day. So I'm reading, the first book I'm reading is called Brave or Loving Bravely. It's about relationships. And then I'm probably gonna go into a financial, um, I think by the budget, budget, Budget Easter, Budget Easter wrote a book, and I'll see if I can check that out in the library, because I'm also really trying to do a no spend month for the next month and a half too. Oh, and then you take a progress photo every single day. Um, that is also supposed to be a little bit harder. I just keep forgetting, and so remembering right before the light, the natural light goes away, and so I'm like running to do that. But <clears throat> so far, so good. And then I am. Um, shoot, I wish I had my phone on me, so I forgetting something. Let me grab my phone. Okay, I'm back. I think I, I, I got them all. The workouts, drink out of water. I actually have it on the front part of my phone just as a daily reminder. And then I was gonna vlog every day, but I mean, I'm doing little videos here and there, but that's not as, sorry, I'm trying to pull it up. Oh, no alcohol. Buddy, you okay? So no alcohol for, um, but that kind of falls into the diet aspect. Um, no alcohol for 75 days, <coughs> which isn't a big thing for me because I'm not a huge drinker as is, but I do like my cocktails every now and then. However, I have been really thinking a lot more about just giving up alcohol completely. I don't know where I'm at with this still. I... It's like drinking isn't a huge big deal for me until I get into a social situation or I'm like finishing up watching my nieces and stay for dinner and we have some wine or something like that. And then I do love my margaritas and you know, the occasional really tart and limey cocktail. So I don't know that I'll give it up for good, but I just, you know, I tried drinking a couple drinks in Hawaii and just nothing was sitting well with me. So I don't know, that might just naturally happen after this process where I just don't want to drink anymore. I'm totally open to that. And then the last thing I added was uh, meditation every day. I downloaded this app called Superhuman App and it's they're called activations. They're like affirmation, um, af affirmations, but they're called activations. And I like it because there's just all sorts of ones and you can just put it on and you can be doing your things. So it's like a very like um, movement based meditation. You're not just sitting there um, cross-legged. Or I do some other meditations that I've done this this practice, this to be magnetic practice that I've done for a really long time. And they're called DIs. And so I just want to have this mindful practice every single day because I'm obviously on this this 75 day journey of massive growth. And so I figured this would be really, really good to help deal with, or help tackle the psychological side of things. So, so far I really like it. And I, I think that it's really good for me. There are a couple reasons why I've decided to do this. One, I need to make some changes. I keep saying I'm gonna do certain things and then just don't. I get excited for a couple days and then it just falls to the wayside. And what is that saying? If you always do what you've always did, you always get what you've always gotten. And that is ringing very true for me. Another reason is that I think that I too often use my health stuff as an excuse for why I don't do things. I'm just, I'm tired of my own crap. Like I'm tired of certain things that are, I feel like are holding me back. I am the only one that can change this. I just like, I'm longing for the discipline and the structure in my life. I just kind of like decided in Hawaii that I was gonna do it when I got back. And so far it's been going really good. And um, there have been a couple times during the day where I'm like, oh shoot, I need to remember this. But that's why I put it on the front of my phone so that I won't forget. And so I always have my phone with me you know the the easiest the easiest ones are the workouts for me because I'm already I was already doing like a 30 minute workout a, like you know a day. Um, I do have a little bit of flexibility with this. I am incorporating yoga. I I have said I've told myself that yoga is fine uh, because like today I had treatment yesterday and there was just no way I was going to do <clears throat> excuse me there's no way I was going to do another form of a workout and I don't stretch 
enough as it is so it's almost more challenging for me to do a yoga practice at home than to go to the studio and so it it it, it is still very challenging for me i walk baker every day and so we're just taking a little bit longer walks right by me yeah so it benefits him too yeah i i if you have any questions leave them below and i'm more than happy to answer them i'm feeling really good in my skin and that was a big reason behind this is that my body just went through so much the last year and I had to really surrender a lot to just body changes and weight gain. And I, I found myself, I found myself thinking a lot like, well, this is just the way it is now. And this is just the way my body's going to look. And it, it's just been, it just kind of hit me on my trip where I was like starting to see some changes from my previous couple weeks of working out where I felt leaner. And I was like, no, this is not how it is. This is not how it's going to be. I can get back to a place in my body that makes me really happy and makes me comfortable and makes me feel good. I have this story in my head about being in my 40s too that like once you hit your 40s you're just like dried up and and done for and it's a deep insecurity that I have. I want to prove to myself that I can be just as fit and active and and feel great in my skin so that was a big motivation for why i did this or why i'm doing this just doing kind of touch base check in tell you how it's going so one of the things that the 75 heart has you do is focus on a diet and although i'm not adhering to a particular diet i am i have removed all gluten and refined sugar from my diet for the next 75 days. So I do have a little bit of a sweet tooth and so that I, I've been struggling with that the last couple days. So I went to the store today and got some stuff to just make some healthier versions of little treats to have around. So I'm gonna work on making that. I wanna make some hummus just to have that to snack. And then I'm also making, I started making Baker's food a little more from scratch so he's getting a mix of raw food kibble and then partially cooked veggies like carrots sweet potatoes and celery so this is the raw food he's eating it's called steve's real food i think they are local to um yeah they're they're they are produced in the northwest i think they're local to seattle area or at least washington but Oregon. They are from Oregon. So he loves this food. Loves it. And out of all the raw foods, it is priced pretty darn fairly. So this will last him about a week or so. And then I'm sauteing some celery and carrots and sweet potatoes in bone broth. And then I do a little bit of the raw food and the veggies at night and in the morning. I mix in a little bit of kibble here and there just to cut costs back a little bit. But he's getting older and I just wanna make sure he's eating as healthy as he possibly can. I had some people say in my last video when I asked for what you guys wanted to see, they said that they wanted to see more of my cooking. And so I love cooking. And if I have an excuse to do it, like if you guys wanna see it, I will do more of it. So that is pretty fun for me. So I'm gonna start um, with Baker's food. So that's all ready for his dinner time. He eats so early, he eats at like four. Um, <laughs> but then he's pretty good for the rest of the night. So, but that's also because we're up pretty early. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing that.
happening. From the classic books that cover the fundamentals like Bridge Down and Poor Down. balls, put it in the freeze, fridge, freezer. This recipe I'm following says to bake them, but I think I'm gonna actually just roll them up and put them in the freezer. So I have a little something I can just pop into my mouth. Sorry, the peanut butter is getting stuck in my mouth. Um, so good. Mm. The next thing I'm gonna make is a chickpea cookie dough. And that is why I made the chocolate because I don't have chocolate chips. So I'm just going to, nor do I really want to use chocolate chips right now because it has refined sugar in it. So I made my own version. Probably thinking in chickpeas in cookie dough, but it's actually really, really good. I can't even tell you how good it actually is. It sounds so weird, but it tastes so much like chocolate chip cookie dough. So I highly recommend it. soaking my other chickpeas for my hummus, which I'll make tomorrow or Friday. <laughs> 